Hello and welcome to our instruction video which will help you to downgrading your Windows 10 to an older version. We have established that there are two main methods to do that. One of which is to go over at the start menu after which click on settings and then go to update and security and click on recovery tab. Where you will see a nice get started button to downgrade to your older version. However, you may not know that Windows discontinues this service after 30 days of usage. And yeah, pretty much makes the situation a bit more difficult. This is why we have created the following tutorial on how to uninstall Windows 10 and reinstall your older version without a hiccup. Alright, so for that, of course, you're gonna need a few tools. We have provided everything with links in the description of this video. Before starting any upgrade, any actual downgrades, you really need to back up your files. You can do that by copying them to an external drive. Of course, Windows as well provides methods to back up your files. Uh, by backing them up on a system image or setting up an active backup. To set up an active backup, you need to click the Setup Backup button in the Backup and Restore setting of Control Panel. If you want to create a system image, you can do it uh, in several different locations. You can do it on a hard drive. You can do it on one or more DVD drives, and you can do it on a network location. Of course, we recommend use the other partition in your drive or an external drive. Uh, but for that you need to know the exact memory, because later on when you install the new copy of Windows, you will need to know exactly which partition to format. Alright, we also have another option to back up your files. Uh, we use this software called thing called SOS Online Backup. The software basically gives you unlimited online backup, which is really awesome. And you can add your files there. It's really simple to use. Just click on the advanced tab and just add your folder. As you can see here, set up an automatic backup as well so yeah to begin with you need to have a windows image uh, on a windows disk you bought or just simply download it online if you have such disk uh, please skip this part and go to the part which i marked with my mouse all right now you can boot an image in two ways you can do it on a dvd drive and you can do it on flash drive. But before doing that, you need to know what your Windows key is if you've activated Windows. To do this, copy this command. You need to use this command in the command prompt. Now, you need to open the search and type cmd and then open the command prompt and paste the command there. Now, let's go over it one more time just to be sure. You need to go over the text document, copy it, and then after going to command prompt, just right click on your mouse and it will just paste automatically. After that, just press enter and you can see here that I have my product key and you will as well. After this, after you have it, we recommend writing it down somewhere because you're going to need it later. All right. Now for the image, we recommend you to put the image of Windows somewhere where you can find it easily. There are two ways to record an image so that it boots up. One is to use a burning software and an empty DVD drive. But for that, your Windows needs to be under 4.7 uh, gigabytes of memory. To do this, open a burning software and just record an image. You can just reuse this software because it's free. You can just browse where you located your image and open it. After which, write it down 
on your CD. Now here you see that we don't have a CD, but you get the principle. Uh, you just when you have a CD, you say CD is okay. Just click on Write Me. If you have a flash drive, it needs to be over 4 gigabytes. And to make a bootable flash drive, you will need the Windows USB DVD download. You can download it from the link in the description. You can also see it here. Just click on the download button and save it to your computer. Uh, it's really easy to install. Actually, all you need to do is open it uh, as an administrator. And then just go over here and click on next and then install. The software will install on your computer. And then click on finish and open. Now software is really easy made. It will ask you just to browse where your Windows ISO image is located. Like just find it. And then it will just detect your well, uh, it will ask you to choose a media type and you can just choose the USB device and it will automatically detect if your USB device is plugged in but you can also refresh it if it didn't then you could just begin copying and you should erase it so make sure you copy all the files you have from that drive that's not empty and as you can see here it started creating a bootable drive it will first format it then it will create it and copy it to files in it so, after you have an image of Windows, you need to configure your BIOS menu to boot that image. Now, to do this, restart your computer while clicking on the restart button while holding shift or pressing one of the keys in red below. And the BIOS menu will boot up. Now, once you're there, just go ahead and go over to the boot tab. And there you can select the drive you're booting from as primer by putting it on top. After that you should press F10 and then Y. It will ask you to press Y and end yes and no. You should press Y and your system will restart. Now it doesn't matter where you have, whether you have uh, Windows 10 for Windows, uh, it doesn't matter whether you have Windows 8.1, 8 or 7, the installation is basically the same. And after your computer restarts, you will see the following screen. Now, you see install Windows, here it asks you to select your time and currency and your keyboard input method. And of course language. After you do this, click on next and then click on the install now button. After this, you're going to wait a little, maybe a little less if your computer is a bit more powerful, not like mine. Now, you're going to see here, the license agreement, just accept it, then go ahead and click on next. And now we go over to two options, Upgrade and Custom. Since you're going to and gonna do a clean reinstall of Windows, we recommend you to go over ahead and click on the Custom option. Now, basically, this is how it would look if your hard drive was completely wiped out and formatted. But we're going to go ahead and create two partitions, just like the ones you would have. And you must, uh, here's the part where I said earlier that you must remember uh, which is the partition with your Windows and which is the partition with your backup if you saved your backup on the other partition. And you should format the partition where Windows is located. Or if you backed up your file somewhere else, you can just format both of them. You can do this by marking the partition with by clicking on it with your mouse and then clicking on the format button. Just confirm it. And then go ahead and click on next. And after that you can see that the setup started. And it's gonna restart a couple of times, which is completely normal. Uh, as you can see here it's restarting.
and after that it's gonna boot up your windows uh, there are a few more things that you need to do after that such as installing your drivers for that uh, we have put links in the descriptions for uh, most manufacturers driver support websites where drivers are located you can also download drivers from a website called driverscape it offers a lot of drivers for different devices audio drivers internet drivers and so on and so forth uh, and basically that's it you have now downgraded to your older version of windows congratulations and good luck with your downgrade